question, how long does hand sanitizer protect you from germs? And is it safe to get the flu shot if you've had a reaction to it in the past? Tonight, Dr. Malika Marshall is answering your coronavirus questions. David from Milford writes, after one uses hand sanitizer, how long does the protection last? Can you safely go into a store and not worry about picking up germs as you touch things? David, once hand sanitizer has dried on your hands, it's pretty much done its job. It's killed most of the germs that are on your hands. But as soon as you touch something that might be contaminated, like a doorknob or a dirty tissue, for example, your hands could get contaminated again. So you really do need to use sanitizer each and every time you think you may have touched something that could be soiled. We have another question from Antoinette who writes, is it safe to dine indoors seated across from someone you don't live with? Antoinette, I don't personally think it's a good idea to eat inside a restaurant, whether you're eating with people you live with or not. That's because it's really hard to get enough distance between you and someone else you're sitting with at the table. You have to take your masks off to eat and drink. I'd feel much more comfortable eating at an outdoor establishment and with people you live with. Kate has a question about COVID testing. She wonders why some people are just having to swab the inside of their nostrils, while others have a swab placed deep in the back of the nasal cavity. Kate, it really depends on where you go to get tested. In our clinic, we're still using the long swab that goes to the back of the nose. We think it gets a better sample and then therefore might give you a more accurate result. There are places that will actually give you a cotton swab to swirl or twirl around inside your nostrils. It's much more comfortable, it's less risky for the healthcare provider, but it may not give as accurate a result. We have another question from Wendy who writes, the last and only flu shot I had was in the early 70s and I spent the next 36 hours in the emergency room with a severe reaction. Should I get one now? I'm 73 with no underlying health issues. Wendy, it's very rare to have a severe reaction to the flu vaccine, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. So what I want you to do is talk to your doctor about what happened to you back in the 70s and figure out whether it really was a reaction or an allergy to the flu vaccine. And then you can talk to your doctor about whether you should have one administered under close observation. Dr. Malika offers her best advice, but as always, she says, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for her, there are three ways you can reach her. Her email, drmalika at cbs.com, on Twitter, at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.